Hi everyone, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre and I am here to bring you loving light and clarity through the grace of spirit. Please take the messages that honor your highest good and leave those which do not resonate behind. Today we're going to go ahead and start back in with the Gateway of Light activation and see what spirit has for you, what they want you to know, what they want you to take into consideration as you push on ahead. And let me go ahead and check these a little bit more. All right. So we have the third eye activation. Okay. So the third eye activation is about um, the, well, it's, it's your brow chakra, right? It's in the center there and your forehead and it's about your inner vision and it's about clear seeing and that's what we've been talking about is that we want clarity right we're all looking for a little bit more clarity in what's going on in our world and so I'm going to pull a little bit more about this gateway and see if we can get a clearer insight as to the message that spirit is trying to bring us so let me see here okay so this third eye activation, the, um, it's about the transporting us through a gateway representing our spiritual connections, seeing with our inner eye in our divine right and our soul self has never forgotten how to do it, right? So things have been troubling you and right now we're looking at new ways of our everyday world. We're trying to look for our higher power. We're looking for soul fulfillment. And so often using this special uh, talent, we will be able to realize it. So for example, when we imagine something before it happens, right? Again, we're talking about your intuition. So this gateway encourages you to unlock your psychic abilities and to stop questioning your divine ability to see. Stop procrastinating and know, feel, you, feel yourself when you have that intuition, when, you, when the little hairs in the back of your neck um, start to stand up, when you see something, but more, more importantly, it's something that you feel. And then in your mind's eye, you know, you know before anything takes place, what is going to um, unfold. And if you take this step, this will happen. And in other words, you already know the outcome. So with these abilities, you'll be able to stop questioning yourself and that you'll, um, you'll honor the fact that you do have great potential and healing will be unleashed when this space is activated. So if you have an intuition about something, trust what you are seeing. This is a sacred time for the psychic potential that you have had since childhood. And it is awakening now, right, from this slumber. So you've always been a dreamer. So sometimes thinking about how the future will show up or revisiting the past. Now these gifts that have been discouraged in the past are reawakening and your inner vision is stronger than you can imagine. So you have an innate ability to see further than human eyes right and you're able to identify the energies of what is going on around you with your activated third eye so this gateway is here as a confirmation that what you are seeing and experiencing is definitely from this divine alignment and that you are being supported as um, you move through this to develop that 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 source source given gift that you have and it of course it's it's different for each one of us right um, we all love in different ways. We all communicate in different ways, but all of it comes from a place of love and it all comes from the source of the divine. And now you're realigning yourself and you're using your intuition, your third eye to activate this so that you will be able to walk forward in a clear seeing manner. So we're going to leave that card. Um, let me just put this over here. And then we're going to get right into our angel reading as we always love our little angels for the day. Oh, for goodness sakes, why don't you want to work with me today? There we go. All right. So let's see what our eight archangels have to say. Uh, I pre-shuffled these cards, but as I go through these readings, I like to really move some energy around, get the ball rolling, right? Bring in that high vibration. All right, let's see. Big time. 
Okay. Oh, that's funny. Well, here it is, awakening. So we definitely, as you can see the synchronicity here, we are activating our awakening and we are awakening. Again, we have a temporary pause for reflection, but that is necessary to get into that insight. And then that awakening where, where things are um, a whole new shift for you, that is what's about to take place. So you want to embrace this as your own uniqueness. And th this is where it's not just about the clarity, it is about the confidence. And through this, when you honor yourself, this prestige that you will have is going to come. It's, it's this new discovery. And that's why Archangel Chamuel is here, because he is here to show you. And that's why we're looking at things in a different way. We're hanging upside down, right? Not a care in the world. We are focusing, but not focusing, right? We are letting things go so that things can come in and come towards us. Okay, and then we have the dreamer. Yes. <laughs> These are all flowing just so nicely. Now we have Archangel Metatron, and he is here to bring you this new start. So as you go through this eye activation period, right, and you have this this clearing, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to express yourself in a different way. And it's going to be your unique self, parts of you from the past but now because of years have gone by, you are honing in on your skills, your abilities, your physical self, your mental self. And as this awakening takes place, you are opening up the dreamer in you things that you never thought possible, whereas years ago, nothing could stop you, right? And so here you are, you're leaving this door behind. The time has come, right? The time has come, as you can see here, for you to move forward into this unique spot. Um, I'm going to try to move this a little bit further because I don't think you can see all the cards. So let me try to squeeze this in here. Okay, and let me try to get one more. All right, and yes, Archangel Raguel. Raguel is here. He is the mediator. He is about friendships. He is about artistry. And so here, um, and again, we pulled this card. So this is confirmation that you have been on the right path. And even though you feel that the timing has, you know, lapsed, right? You can see the hourglass there. You thought, okay, God, by now it should have taken place. Well, it's because you're rushing. You're trying to move faster than allowing yourself to do, to, um, to take it all in, right? You have to set yourself in, in the ground, in the roots. And then it, it blossoms up, it flowers up, and it becomes something more, right? A flower doesn't become a flower overnight. It comes from this little seed, and then as it sprouts up, right? And then it needs more sunshine. It needs more clarity. So here, Archangel Raguel is giving you this recognition that you are on the right path. Know that you are going to reach the, heart, the highest quality of yourself and your work, and that you also will uh, be working with others and it's gonna um it's gonna actually exude into this excellent reputation okay moving right along now we have the king of wands and so this motivational inspiring theatrical ambitious again all of these adjectives these are more about each one of you individually whether you like to motivate others you're going to be able to do so if you want to inspire others yes you're going to have this new inspiration people are going to be drawn to you this theatrical right you want to put on a performance you want um it you, you maybe craved recognition in the past but now you're going to get this recognition just by being you and this is great uh, there's this ambitious behavioral uh, tendencies that you're going to have you're going to take on leadership roles and I'm going to I'm so sorry these cards are, this is just awful today let me just try moving the camera over is that better I think so alrighty so let me see if I can spread these a little bit out okay you got the awakening the dreamer right and then you have the artistry with Archangel Raguel. 
and the King of Wands. I like these cards. It's beautiful layout. Okay. Oh, surprise, surprise. Don't let your ego get in the way, people. All right. We talked about this before. You've got the Five of Swords here. So the Five of Swords. So like... It's a message. It's a message from spirit. As you can see, everybody in the background having a good time. You got this guy running away. He thinks he's conned everybody. He thinks he's taking advantage and he's happy that he's done so. Um, this is like kind of a warning people. So you can take this in two ways, right? Either it's an unwise choice for you um, or there is a better way that you will make your uh yourself happier right and i guess i look at it as the ego card right um you want to think of yourself as a winner yes we're finally building our confidence we're finally getting our clarity and um this to me is uh, someone who's pompous and so we want to avoid people who lack integrity and we want to avoid um, that lack of integrity in ourselves, right? We want, we don't want to get on that high horse. Stay humble in what you're doing. Know that this new power that you have, it is not to be abused. It is not to take uh, advantage of uh, other people uh, while you're on this quest, okay? So be aware that there might be somebody or some ones that have questionable motives. And again, this comes down to trust issues. So we want to be weary are these trust issues from our own, right? Or things that we're, we're looking back at the past and so we're kind of uncomfortable because, you know, you have your guard up for such a long time. Or is it you that has, you're feeling so great now that, um, and you're very well deserving of it, but know, know where you came from, know the lessons that you learned and know that, you were given these gifts, but they are to be cherished and they are to be shared in a very compassionate way. And then once you do that, you have reached your transformation, okay? So this little transformation, this little tower, um, it's the castle, which I love the way Radley Valentine has represented it by a castle instead of a teetering tower. Um, it's time. There's something that's going to happen that's going to be very significant and it, it's going to definitely change your life. Now, don't think of the tower as a negative, right? Negative is just because you want to bring your vibration down. No, this tower moment, this groundbreaking thing, and it's a significant experience that is about to unfold before you is for your transformation. So whatever, whatever you're doing on your daily routine, know that something unexpected is going to come. So the angels are trying to prepare you so you won't be completely surprised, right? And then when you do, you are going to break free from any hindrance during this process of transformation. Okay, so angels, it's great news because things are happening. Things are going to be shaken up. Stay humble, right? You're going to have your higher power. You're going to be able to create. And those creations are going to come from this dream period, right? And those dream periods going to come from the awakening. And the awakening is coming from that third eye activation. So this is coming full circle. And it is definitely much needed. Okay. Let's go on to our animal angel cards and see what the spirit wants to pick for us today okay i don't know why i see rabbit but rabbits and frogs and we have the elephant wow you pulled the elephant before open yourself up for true abundance girl i love these cards Yes, true abundance. That is what we're looking for. On our way to all the hard work that we're putting in and wanting to share this knowledge, this wisdom. Again, you've got the third eye activation here. So let's see what the spirit has to say about our elephant. Hold on, I'm going to give you more clarification here. 
So the elephant card reminds you to keep your frequency high by having more fun, playing, and be joyful. So as even during that the tower transformation moment that you have, right? Laugh it off. If you don't laugh it off, it's just going to swallow you whole. And, and you don't want that. Okay, so whether you are male or female, practice divine feminine qualities within every area of your life to ensure you have a strong, stable foundation. Again, that tower, that castle has to have been built on a strong foundation. And the reason why something drastic is going to take place is because that has to come down in order to build that new. So that new is about the foundation of your spiritual life. So sit quietly and breathe into your third eye, tuning in to the Elephant Kingdom and Archangel Raphael. So the awesome Emerald Angel of Healing and Abundance, right? That's, that's what Archangel Raphael uh, represents. So then they link into Jupiter and its ascended aspect. So what's going to happen is you're going to send out a stream of light to help build a crystalline web of light around you and around our planet. So um, these wise, intelligent creatures hold in their energy fields a fifth dimensional blueprint for family life with a perfect matriarchal society. So mothers are revered and they're recognized that they play and keeps the frequency high. So um, I don't know. I think I'm going to pull one more card, angels. I think we're going to pull... Yeah, they're saying Moonology. Okay, we're going to do one Moonology card. Let's see what the Moonology cards have. And this is going to be something that you should practice during the next week or two as this transformation takes place. It seems like we've been doing a lot of transforming, right? But that's the growth process. As soon as you get comfortable, bam. A little something else. There we go. Meditate and contemplate. Yes, this is how you're going to open up your third eye. Meditation. They can't impress upon us enough that it is time to stop what's going on in this new cycle. And let's go ahead and be a little bit, let's go a little bit deeper about this meditation because this is uh, in the new moon uh, in Pisces. So we're going to probably end up releasing some stuff too. Give me one second, angels. Let's see here. What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay. I'm sorry, it's taking a little bit longer today because I'm doing this on the fly. All right. Meditate and contemplate. So this card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. Wow. Wow. The dream state. I love this. So there could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're onto a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help bring out about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, well, then that's it. And this is really for Pisces. So this is the last sign of the Zodiac and the new moon in Pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. So I don't like the fact that they're saying it's your last ditch chance because I strongly believe that what the divine has for you is meant for you. And everything happens in divine timing as well. So definitely men, med, blah, 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 meditate, right? Open up that third eye. And when you're contemplating, you're contemplating on what is your truest desire? What is it that you, what is the biggest dream that you can dream of, right? Dream big. At this time period, you definitely want to dream big. All right. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you love the messages. Please come back tomorrow and we'll see what Spirit has in store for us. Take care, everyone.